the Magna Rack by Battlefame. Is this your transportation solution? Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to Garage Gamers Down Under. Hey everyone and welcome to the show. What I'm going to be doing today is having a bit of a review about this uh, Magna Rack from Battlefoam. Uh, it's a uh, transportation uh, option for your armies uh, as you travel around uh, heading to those tournaments or to your friend's place where you're actually going to play. Uh, but before I get into the review of this uh, product, uh, I'd like to have a community announcement first, just to let you guys know that we'll be launching a subscription drive soon enough. Once we le reach 100 subscribers and we're pretty close to that point at, at the moment. Um, so once we reach 100 subscribers, we'll be launching a subscription drive. We certainly want to get some more subscribers onto our channel, which means that uh, the crew at uh, Garage Gamers Down Under will be very keen to produce and give you some uh, more videos in the future. Uh, there will be something special for our first 100 subscribers. We'll certainly announce that once we reach the 100th subscription. So let's... Uh, Let's get into the review of the Magnarack. So this product has been around for a while actually. Uh, I've only become aware of this uh, recently and uh, uh, full transparency, this is not a pay to play review. So what I've actually done is I've actually gone out and bought this myself when I've actually uh, realized uh, that uh, this product was available. So this came in the mail uh, a little while back. So I have been uh, playing around with it uh, and uh, testing it out. And now I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a review. You may be aware about the, of this product, so you may not be aware of it, hence uh, this uh, review for you. So what is the Magnarack? Primarily the Magnarack is a magnetized uh, platform. So what you will get is a uh, a sheet like this um, that is actually magnetized on, on this side. So you can actually put your models um, that you have magnetized, so put onto this Magnarack. Um, and uh, uh, transport it around uh, with you. So that's that's a, that's a beautiful uh, piece um, with regards to this uh, product and, and something that I certainly appreciate and I like. Often enough, I dread transporting my models. Uh, I dread the part where I'm actually going to tournaments because in tournaments, you're constantly going to be unpacking, packing up, unpacking again uh, over a day, two days, or even uh, three days, uh, depending on the type of tournament that you're at. Usually you're having three games a day. Sometimes you might actually even have more, but I think the go around is that uh, three days per, three games per day is uh, what you would have. So what that means is you go to a table, you unpack your army, you get, get set up and, uh, and away you go. Uh, at the end of that uh, game, you actually have to pack up and then see where, which other table you're going to be at because uh, normally and usually you're not at this very same table over those uh, three days or uh, during the tournament. So certainly a part that I dread a lot when I'm uh, preparing my army and getting myself uh, ready uh, and focused uh, to go to a tournament. It, that's kind of a bugbear of mine in terms of what is my transport so solution or transport uh, approach with, with regards to my army. Everyone has a different approach. Everyone um, does these uh, th uh, things differently. Uh, there's certainly a group of uh, individuals who are really keen and really have some time in their hands who actually do have a solution that they've um, uh, designed themselves, a so bespoke uh, solution, so they've uh, created something themselves and certainly kudos to you guys. And then you'll obviously you have uh, solutions that are brought to you by companies. Games Workshop have had a long line uh, of uh, transportation cases. Uh, Battle Foam is another large organization, large company that's been around for a while now. Uh, that uh, has been producing uh, carry cases uh, for your transportation solutions. And certainly they have uh, carry cases and designs uh, that are applicable to uh, other uh, formats, gaming formats as well. So this is not just uh, uh, Warhammer 40K or Age of Sigma, etc. Uh, that you will be having. So what does the Magna Rack do for you? Well, what it does is gives you an alternative way in transporting your, uh, your, your models. Uh, we all love our models. We delve into painting them and putting them together. Um, and it's important for us to uh, protect our creations. So Magna Rack is one uh, solution with regards to your transportation um, challenges that you may have. And as I said earlier on, um, the 
unpacking and packing away of models is certainly a challenge that I always have and I feel that this particular product certainly ad can address that for you and can actually improve uh, things for you when you're actually uh, at tournaments packing away and, uh, and unpacking your models. So first of all let's test out the magnetized portion of this um, Magnarack. So I've got a couple of models here that I've uh, magnetized myself. Uh, these are my uh, Tau Army models so there, there's there's the magnets underneath there. You might not be able to see that well enough, but yeah, every single model underneath its base has, has a magnet. So let's put these, let's put these babies on. Put some down here. There they are, and now they should be all magnetized and should be in position. So here's a big test. Okay, so I'm holding up the magnet rack, turning it upside down. There you go. Every single model is stuck on beautifully and nicely as it should. Give it a bit of a shake. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, they're staying put. Which is really great. I mean, this 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 shows that the magnetized plates that they've actually provided for you uh, work uh, really well enough. And in terms of taking the models off, it's pretty easy. There is not a lot of resistance um, uh, with this uh, with these plates. So it's a good good solution. So from that point of view, you can see that the magnetized plates are actually working well. Um, the plates themselves are coated, so they have this grey finish to them, and they fit inside. They come actually already pre-fit pre-fitted inside uh, the carrying uh, plate. So it's uh, it's fully plastic uh, on the back. Um, it's pretty hardy plastic, I, I'd say. It uh, hasn't uh, shown any signs of warping or anything like that yet, so I'd say it's actually going to be um, a good uh, product and lasting product for you. Something else that I like about this particular product as well is that it's actually modular. So what, what I have here is actually I've just put together a two-tier system, you know, two platforms that I actually have because what I wanted to test out is to see if some of those larger models can actually fit into something like uh, this Magnarack. And what I've got here is uh, a um, Storm Surge, which is another Tau model, which is in production by our painting and by our art artist. Um, this particular model, let's take a look at what its height is. Okay, it's sitting just uh, under seven inches, or um, if you uh, in in Australia, we're talking about uh, sitting under 17 centimeters. So if you're using the metric system, it's 17 uh, centimeters. If you're using the good old imperial system, you're looking at uh, under seven inches. So putting this guy underneath here, you can see he fits quite well and he's actually got some room in there as well. He can still uh, have some space uh, above him. So he's, he's a model that fits in there quite well. I actually haven't magnetized him yet, so I'm not, not going to turn this one over because I don't want this uh, model to fall over and break. But you can see that it actually doesn't take up a lot of room either on the rack. So there's plenty of other space in there as well. So this is the, this is the modular feature uh, of this rack that I certainly certainly appreciate and, and like. So in terms of the modular aspects, um, from what I'm, I'm aware, there are four different size legs. Um, here they are. So there's four of them. There we go. Oh, beautiful. It's standing up. Um, so there's four different size uh, legs that you actually have uh, for the Magnarack. The pack that I bought, and I'll actually show the case soon enough as well, uh, has four of these, uh, comes with four of these plates and enough of these um, modular legs uh, in there so you can actually play around in terms of the heights uh, with respect to your uh, your carrying case and obviously how many models you're actually going to have uh, transporting with you. If, if you're going into a tournament with a lot of points, obviously you're going to be having a lot of uh, models or if you're, you're someone who actually has quite a lot of troops, um, which requires a lot of models and a lot of space, um, you obviously can have that opportunity to have uh, several um, levels uh, built in uh, for your Magnarack. So the first first one is the, is the longest uh, piece and this piece here is, uh, let's take a look, 
it is uh, seven inches or just under 18 centimeters uh, in height so this is the the, the long piece the, the largest piece that they actually have and if you look at it compared to this uh, storm surge here it certainly sits well above and that's why this storm surge uh, could actually uh, fit underneath here although I have to say and admit that I've actually put a small piece and a medium piece here not the these two pieces pretty much make up almost oh actually a little bit higher um, than the longest piece so the next one that comes into play is the I guess the uh, not the middle one but the second one so that's uh, five inches so about 13 centimeters uh, in height so there's that piece there and then you come to the smaller group here um, the, this one is four inches just under 10, 10 centimeters um, piece and then you have the smallest piece here which I think is about two and a half inches yep two and a half inches just above uh, six and a half centimeters so this is a smaller piece and certainly a piece that can fit for your um, trips so for your small smaller models like you can, as you can see here this particular small model you know fits in and there's quite a lot of spacey uh, above that as well so this is the beautiful aspect about the magna rack it's um, it's modular so you can actually um, play around with your heights depending on the type of uh, uh, list uh, that you're building um, if you have quite a lot of larger models obviously you create uh, more space so your larger models can actually fit in there um, if you have a mixture you can do that as well if you quite have quite a lot of smaller models you can actually do that uh, uh, as well which is I think uh, a fantastic uh, component uh, with regards to um, the Magnarack so I'll take this guy off if I'm going to have something negative to say about this um, there, there is probably one one piece and that is that with this particular plate that arrived the the metal plate that sits inside um, the plastic frame is slightly warped I'm not sure if you're able to see it see it on camera you might be able to to hear it because I'm pressing at the warped bit um, so the warped bit uh, over here in the middle has warped out and this bit here has warped out as well and as I press down on it you might hear this snapping sound and that's the sound of the um, the glue underneath so it does it, these metal plates aren't fitting into some type of recess they're actually uh, glued on and this one so that's arrived is actually warped a little bit and this this warping is obviously going to stay as is it's not actually going to move so unless I somehow take this whole thing off and uh, put some more glue underneath and then glue it and then leave it like that um, that uh, will stay like that these two pieces are fine I've actually tested them out pressed them uh, bent them a little bit to try and see if it's actually going to pop out nothing actually happened to it but this one that did arrive to, um, uh, is a little bit faulty so um, you may have uh, a chance to uh, well there might, there might be uh, uh, risk that when you buy yours that you might actually have one of these uh, come through uh, in your package so that's probably the the only negative aspect that I would actually provide about this uh, magna rack system everything else about it I, I like as I mentioned it's it's hard plastic reinforced underneath as well so it's supposed to reduce that warping you can hear this uh, crackling now so I'm going to put it down um, so it doesn't come through the microphone anymore um, okay so the pack that I bought and I'll grab it now from Battle Foam is the 720 okay so it's the 720 pack um, in terms of its height and width <laughs> I'm not sure off by heart so that's why I have my tre uh, trusty measuring tape here so we're looking at about uh, 13 inches or 33 centimeters in height you're yeah, looking at about uh, well let's measure from the inside you're looking at about uh, almost 16 inches uh, that's uh, almost just over 40 centimeters um, uh, width inside and you're looking at about 12 inches or 30 centimeters um, depth uh, going this way so it's a pretty pretty large piece let me open that up so you can actually see inside so 
what we do is we put the magna rack so inside so this is my two tier system obviously you can actually have have certainly more tiers i actually just tested this one out because I, my key um, concern was how i'm going to actually or whether i can fit uh, the larger models um, in this in this rack so that's the magna rack fitting inside your carry case so you can see it actually fits in nice and snug uh, into this particular carry case um, what i also like is they actually have these little stoppers at the top so these stoppers uh, just plastic pieces that uh, come over the top of the legs so these stoppers once you actually put the case over if you know, if by some uh, unfortunate uh, ev circumstance or event someone comes along and leans their hand in there uh, etc these will actually stop from the top of your case uh, bending in and potentially damaging your models so you put your models in you pack them inside like so put some down there put your carry case up zip it up and voila you're off to your tournament um, it's simple as that um, and what what makes it better is that when you arrive at your tournament you simply unzip your case open up and what you can do is actually then take out your magna rack you don't need to keep that inside your case you can actually take that out and then you know walk around with that and place your models down and put it next to you on, on top of a, a table that's uh, close by um, so you don't necessarily need to actually have it in your case you can actually take it out so that's, that's really great i mean so you can carry it around because obviously it's nice and firm uh, it holds your models in place so you know bumping things like that you know if you're not going to um, run the risk of uh, damaging your models as you would uh, from uh, other type of solution storage solutions so that's what i particularly like about this product as well is that uh, with the magna rack um, you can actually take your the whole rack uh, out um, and you know, hold it nicely and uh, uh, um, unpack your models and put them on onto the board so this this is really great from that perspective and then obviously when you're packing away it's nice and easy to just you know pack your models away put them put them onto your uh, onto your levels and then put them back into the box you know and then you can zip this up and yeah safely your models are actually stored inside so this this is really great from from that perspective so with regards to the pack that uh, I purchased for myself, so that's uh, Battle Foam 720 with the Magna Racks, it comes with four of these uh, platforms. I only have three here to show you. Uh, fourth one is uh, packed away. Um, so four of these platforms and enough leggings so you can actually alternate the heights that you want um, for your um, uh, for your armies in terms of how you build list build your armies. Um, what I've done as well is I've actually bought a pack of these uh, assorted uh, leggings so i actually can have even more variation uh, when i actually build my uh, build my levels so uh, i wanted to, to have the flexibility so i can actually have you know, any type of army list uh, that i create to, to be easily carried around what this means for you as well is that obviously you're going to have to magnetize your models so what i let people know and what's important uh, for people to to do is to actually magnetize your bases before you start painting before you actually uh, start basing so um, if you've painted and based your models then uh, when you're actually magnetizing underneath it gets a little bit tricky uh, to get your magnet to, to stay on there once you put the super glue on because obviously the best way to do that is to make sure that this surface is sitting actually flat flush um, and then magnets can actually then uh, cure uh, into the super glue and you want to leave that overnight um, or as long as possible uh, to get the um, super glue to hold onto the magnet so if you have your models on you know, you're not going it's going to be difficult to do that you're going to have to find somewhere where you can actually lean against something so you can actually get that surface so it's always best to magnetize your bases before you actually put any models onto it or um, uh, start flocking etc um, that's my suggestion for you guys is it laborious yes it adds another step for you however in the long run your models will be better protected 
simple simple as that your models will certainly be better protected and, and it will uh, pay back in spades uh, for you um, I've looked around for uh, magnetized uh, solutions I've actually um, I created my own <laughs> bespoke ones as well but uh, nothing uh, perfect or, or as good good as uh, this one from Battle Foam. So the 720 pack that I bought, uh, I paid 250 Australian dollars and that was delivered to my home. Um, Overseas, obviously in the US, it will be a, a different price. Battle Foam is a United States uh, company, so all of you guys that are living and residing in the United States, it's easier for you to up obtain this piece. In terms of uh, us down under um, getting this stuff, it's probably a little bit harder for us to do. I found this uh, through uh, MightyApe.com, which is a New Zealand-based uh, merchant and distributor. In Australia, we used to actually have uh, the Magna, sorry, the Battle Foam uh, products being um, sold uh, through a merchant, but uh, something happened. I don't know exactly what it was, but something certainly happened, uh, and uh, they are no longer stocking and selling that product, and it's hard to find this uh, through uh, a merchant in Australia. You have to kind of go overseas. If you're ordering direct from US, um, obviously uh, the, one of the biggest challenges in, is the transportation cost, uh, the shipping fees. Uh, the US shipping fees have increased in the last few years uh, to the point where it becomes uh, certainly discouraging to, to buy anything. I bought these uh, from the US, the uh, extra pack uh, of uh, legs, um, and the shipping fee wasn't that bad uh, because uh, the, the weight uh, and uh, volume of this product wasn't really that, uh, uh, that prohibitive from that point of view, so I actually did uh, pay the shipping fee on that one. I think in the UK you can actually also get this uh, Battle Foam uh, products uh, as well. Get onto the battlefoam.com uh, website to actually look for this Magna Rack. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this. Uh, doesn't mean that it, does, it hasn't actually happened and there hasn't been, haven't been any reviews. Certainly if you go onto the Battle Foam uh, website you will see their videos talking about the Magnarack, but I haven't actually seen much uh, else around so I thought it was actually fruitful to bring this uh, video to you. So there are alternative solutions uh, to the Magnarack. As I mentioned earlier on, uh, Games Workshop have their own cases. There are certainly other companies that have carry cases. Predominantly, 99 to 100% of them um, have a foam style uh, packaging solution for you. Games Workshop have nothing else but, but a foam style packaging solution. They have changed a, a little while back uh, with the foam inserts uh, and also in terms of the uh, foam structure. So they have this zigzag style um, with foam. So uh, basically from their point of view, it's supposed to make it easier for you to transport your models. One concern, and I've actually used uh, my uh, Games Workshop uh, cases, one concern that I have is um, with my models uh, is, especially with the larger ones, uh, we all love doing our dioramas and uh, our flocking on our bases and, and on the larger ones you have the opportunity to actually really go wild and get something um, crazy happening and have some wonderful bases uh, uh, there to show off your models. Uh, with those foam based packs and especially with the GW one with those zigzag foams, yeah, it's, it's okay because you can actually put, push the zigzags uh, uh, out, um, fit your model in and it comes over. But the problem is that foam scrapes across um, your bases. So even though it's soft product, it does tend to take off your flock. And the more you transport it, the more you carry it around, the more you put your models in and out, the more impact it has and the, the more of your flock, etc., will start to, to come off. And you may at some point have to start to um, redo that uh, on your basis. So that's that's a bit of a deterrent for me. So that's when I saw the Magnarack, I thought this is a great solution for me because that's not going to be the issue in terms of my transportation. At times, to be honest, I've also had models break little bits and pieces in, in the foam. So even the, the foam solution hasn't been really that great uh, for me because you know, the foam packs around uh, as you're taking um, your models in and out, you kind of had to uh, spread the foam out uh, so you can actually then take your model. So it's not really that perfect, especially for models that actually have little bits and pieces that hang out like this um, uh, antenna uh, pieces on, on this particular model. With your magnetized solution, 
bottles actually sits in place nicely. You can have another platform up here. There isn't going to be that issue apart from you doing something ridiculously crazy to actually damage it. And as I said earlier on, it holds your models perfectly. There is absolutely nothing um, apart from extreme impacts that's actually going to do anything to your models, but you know, any extreme impacts can happen to other storage solutions as well. So in terms of giving this uh, a final uh, review, I will give it an eight out of 10. And the two points deduction is really based on this particular um, uh, platform here that has warped. So this came to me, the warped, you know, to, to go back to the merchant, to run the hassle of letting them know that the actual came in um, not uh, as specified. Um, to be sending this back, I mean, to, to go through that whole rigmarole, it's something that I'm not really keen on doing and then probably won't be doing at all. Um, but once again, that's probably the two points deduction that I will make for this product. Apart from that, it's practicality, it's functionality, it's fantastic, it serves its purpose. Um, even the warped uh, platform, I certainly will be, will be using it, it's not that but it is because it still works, it still functions, you know. There you go, it still functions. Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so this warped part here is something that, yeah, grates on my eye, um, but apart from that, it's not uh, too much of a problem. So there you have it, guys. I hope this was informative enough uh, for you. If you do have any questions uh, for me, please uh, post them down into the comment section below. If you've liked what you've seen and you like some of our other videos and look forward to any of our future videos that we'll be bringing to you, please subscribe to our channel. We would love to see you subscribe. Certainly click on that bell icon so that way you will be notified about any new videos that actually come up. Look out for our subscription drive that we'll be launching soon enough once we get over uh, our first 100 subscribers. We're not too far away from that. I believe we're up to 87 now, so there's not too many spots left for our first 100 subscribers. That will be getting a special treatment once we announce our subscription drive. So thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.